a very happy and safe morning to all as the number of coronavirus cases are rising. We will here look at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 15th March, Sunday. On the front page, you have virus cases rise, more airlifts planned. So, nationally, the tally has reached now 102, 31 in Maharashtra are suffering from coronavirus. And the state has ramped up measures for social distancing. So here you can see there has been a huge spike in cases from Maharashtra. So you can see persons have 10 persons have been discharged and contact tracing of the positive cases has led to identification of more than 4,000 contacts who could have been who could who have been put under surveillance. And here you have SARC virtual meeting today. So, two days after Prime Minister Narendra Modi offered to convene a meeting of SARC leaders on coronavirus pandemic. So, now this has taken place. Uh, he will convene a meeting. This will be a video conference which will be conducted. And it will include leaders from seven countries. India, uh, Nepal, Bhutan, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Maldives and Sri Lanka. Excluding Pakistan. So, uh, Pakistan Prime Minister will not be part of the meet, but he has deputed his special advisor for the meeting. Then this is GST on mobile phones hiked to 18%. So, mobile phones are likely to get costlier with the Goods and Services Tax Council deciding to increase the rate of uh, GST on mobile phones in specific parts to 18% from current 12% with effect from 1st April 2020. GSTN network which is built and managed by Infosys has also seen glitches on that the company has been given a deadline till 31st July 2020 to correct it and uh, ensure the smooth running of the system. So the earlier the deadline was Jan 2021 uh, which was sought by them but the deadline has been given till July 2020. And why this uh, GST on mobile phones have been high? The finance minister says this is a decision taken to correct the inverted structure of duty on some products. So, inverted structure of, of duty means what you should know. So, this is the inverted duty structure because inputs, GST is being paid on inputs, which is at 18%. So, 18% is the GST on inputs and then when uh, sales take place at that time, GST paid is 12%. So, 18% GST is already paid. So, here it is 12% means the remainder 6% is credit because the inputs uh, GST paid is high. So, this is the input tax credit demanded by the suppliers. So, to, this is called inverted duty structure. The so government has to pay this 6% back. So, to ensure that this does not take place, what has been done, this 12% has been raised to 18%. Then uh, Madhya Pradesh flow test will take place tomorrow. So, this will be news which we will discuss tomorrow. And excise duty on fuels also. This is a decision taken by Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs. The special excise duty on petrol has been increased by 2 uh, to a 8% a litre of excise duty now. And uh, on diesel also from 2 to 4, 4 rupees a litre. This is it. The road has also been raised uh, by 1 rupee and uh, a litre so to 10 rupees now. So the fuel which you buy has this additional amount added up to it. 8 rupees per litre as excise duty and 10 rupees per litre as road says. So this is 18 rupees additional. On page 11 you have MPs panel concerned at defence fund shortage. So, the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defence has expressed concern that the widening gap between projections and allocations in the outlay for the defence sector will affect modernization and has recommended a dedicated fund for committed liabilities and procurements. So, and allocation for defence fund is a huge cause of concern. Which all three, Army, Navy and Air Force, which is shown here, you can see. So, over the years. Uh, means from 2015-16 to 2020-21. Air Force allocation, you can see the shortfall in projection is shown. Means how much is the spending which is required and how much has been allotted. That has a difference. Means always the allocation has been less than the uh, projection. So here you can see the gap was this much for our Air Force, which is in blue in 2015-16, which has widened. The deficit has widened here. For 
navy it was 2015 16 this was the shortfall which has widened further now and even for the army so this is in crores of rupees on international page you have spain emerges as a new virus hotspot country sees more than 1500 new infections in 24 hours as more nations close borders so spain has emerged earlier we had seen italy had huge number of cases and now spain is a global hotspot so further number of cases worldwide is now 150000 and here you have covid 19 outbreak poses new challenge to india us india's us policy so this is a coverage on how you know trump whom india is betting on has been left politically weakened us also you can see is going to contest presidential elections in december 2020 so you can see the democratic president candidate and former vice president joe biden both from democratic party are having a debate to decide there are primaries and secondaries held in u.s presidential elections to finally decide on a presidential candidate from each political party and then those two leaders contest the final presidential elections and below you have escaping boko haram after being hired to bomb so this is uh, you can see when women who have not only tricked the terror organization but also they have been able to survive so this is uh, boko haram you should know about this terrorist organization so they, it used to dispatch it has uh, has been dispatching women for uh, bomb missions but they have been able to escape them so dozens of women they say they have either been made to marry the group's fighters or be deployed as bombers so you should know about this terrorist organization from Africa. So here you can see Boko Haram is mainly prominent in Nigeria and the surrounding countries. Then on Sundays you have this FAQ coverage where important issues over the week are covered in detail. So one is regarding coronavirus. It says if the global economy headed for recession, so because of the uh, impact of coronavirus, how deep is it on businesses around the world? is understood here and which are the sectors which will be which have been hit the hardest and this is regarding yes bank fiasco so this is regarding the additional tier one bonds too so why are the investors stuck with these bonds and what is the rbi policy on them so we have discussed this 81 bonds additional tier one bonds earlier too and this is a detailed coverage on that so this is important and this is how does soap use help in tackling coronavirus disease so, is there a difference between using soap and water and in using alcohol-based hand sanitizers? So, such questions are answered in this article. Then on Sundays, you also have science and technology coverage. So, this is regarding Tata Institute of Fundamental Research Study, which reveals the role of glucose in regulating liver functions and in aging. So, study shows how both overactivation and underactivation of longevity factor can lead to diseases. And this is a trial which has shown success in treating drug resistant TB patients. So, three oral drugs which are taken result that is betaquilin, pritomanid, and linozolid. So, this has resulted in positive response. So, basically, here you should understand hydrophobic. Hydro, hydro means water, phobic means fear, means keeping away. So, hydrophobic is something which does not, uh, you know, combine with water. It means it, it stays waterproof in a way. So, hydrophobic co coating, this is a super hydrophobic coating, which has been found to save metallic surfaces. So, many such uh, news have come up over the years. So, never such a question has been asked. At least you should know the terminology. That is important. But then the name of the chemical and what is it is not important. But it is IITs and it is Indians who have undertaken research on this that has been coming in news over the years. Then on Sundays, you also have this dispatches coverage where important international news are covered. So, first one is Venezuela on the menu, COVID-19 in the air. 
So this is regarding uh, South America here, an aid of Brazil president, uh, you know, Bolsonaro, uh, which who was present at the Bolsonaro Trump summit, means US Brazil summit has tested positive. So now there have been concerns raised regarding coronavirus spread in the top leaders as such too. And this is regarding Sri Lanka's women cricketers. And this is regarding, so actually Sri Lanka's woman, one of Sri Lanka's most celebrated women cricketer is, uh, is ending a career, is resigning. So that is, a, that's not important for us. This is regarding Japan Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. So here you can see, it is said, an impending economic crisis and possibility of Olympics being cancelled are staring at the Prime Minister. So this we know we don't need to cover this article in detail. So these are three are not important. Fourth one is one country, two presidents and an endless war. So this is important. This is regarding the political crisis in Afghanistan where uh, former president Ashraf Ghani and his rival Abdullah both have formed parallel governments and have complicated the peace process at a time when US Taliban peace deal has been finalized and Taliban's peace deal with the government of Afghanistan is to be finalized. But there are two governments now. So, the, actually, the election results showed Ashraf Ghani as winning, but uh, Abdullah, the opposition, did not accept this result and said we'll also form the government. So, that is that. So, that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website, asha.com. Thank you.